what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel and to another video so for the past month now I've been having an issue with my door lock actuator which is, which is the mechanism that locks and unlocks the door I haven't been able to remotely with the keyless entry lock and unlock my car because I believe it is jammed So I've actually been having to use the actual key that is in the remote to unlock and lock my door, which is really inconvenient since I got really used to just unlocking it with the push of a button. So I went ahead and bought a new door lock actuator from FCP Euro. These cost about $65 for a set for the driver's side and the passenger side door. This is the only way I could find it. I couldn't find it individually, but I figured I'd just get the set so if my passenger side goes out, I can just have that one ready to replace that. So in this video, I'm gonna be replacing the old one with this new one. To do that, we're gonna have to take off this entire door panel here um, and, and attack it from the inside. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult, but let's see how it goes. I used a T20 to remove the three screws that were underneath the trim that are securing the interior panel to the door. I used a small bungee cord to hang the interior panel on top of the door so that it would relieve the stress off of the wires that are still connected to the panel. I removed the two 10mm nuts that are holding the window regulator to the door so that I would have more wiggle room to get the door lock actuator out from inside the door. So the first thing I did here was remove this little cable that's on the inside of the door on the back of the door lock actuator. Next, I remove the three T30 torque screws that are holding the door lock actuator in place. There's one connection on top of the door lock actuator on the inside that I needed to disconnect. Once I disconnected that, the actuator was able to freely move. There were two additional plastic pieces still connected to the actuator that were preventing me from being able to move the actuator out of the door. I ended up just breaking them off since I couldn't figure out how to disconnect them.
the new actuator was not identical to the one I removed, but it did have all of the necessary connections needed to install it. There was one separate plastic piece that I needed to take off the old actuator and put on the new actuator. I ended up removing that plastic piece that I transferred over from the old actuator to the new one because it was getting caught on the window regulator. When moving the actuator into position, the first connection should be the one at the top of the actuator, which is where the plastic piece that I transferred over from the old actuator onto the new one is located. Once the actuator was in position, I began reinstalling everything. Alright guys, so as you just saw, I had a success with this replacement. Everything works now, I can now unlock it with my remote. There's honestly not that much to say about it, it wasn't a difficult job, it was pretty easy. The only hard part is just getting the old actuator out. Putting the new one in is not too difficult since you know like how it comes out and everything, so when you're putting it in, it's not difficult at all. Everything else is pretty straightforward. It's definitely a cheap and easy DIY you can do at your house. Just the $70 on the parts. And as always, I'll link those down if you want to check those out. But anyway, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys found this helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos like this. But I will see you guys in the next one.